Gentlemen, this video is to teach you how to be a high-value man in 2024 without a miss. Okay, listen up, because this is important. Life for the top 1% of men is better than ever before. But for the other 99% of men, it's tougher than it's ever been. Despite what the media might say, being a man is actually pretty tough. It's like playing a video game where you start at level zero every day, and you have to work hard to level up. If you don't, someone else will, and they'll get the money that could have been yours, the life that could have been yours. And this is going to be a very, very hard pill to swallow, but even the wife that could have been yours. I know it's tough to hear, but it's important to understand, so let that sink in for a moment. What do you think about that? Now, I want you to imagine right now your dream woman. What does she look like? How does she carry herself? What kind of an incredible mother is she to your future children? How proud are you to have her by your side? You have that image in your mind? Okay, cool. Now I want you to imagine her with another guy. Make it graphic. Make it sting. Make it hurt. Because you just lost your future wife, the future mother of your children, to another man because you decided you're gonna F asterisk C seek around with some video games while the other guy every single day put one foot forward in front of the other and leveled up and left you behind. That is the cold, harsh reality for men. It is competition 24-7. All right, listen up. There's no time to relax. That's exactly why you need to strive to become a high-value man. Now, there's a big misunderstanding about what being a high-value man truly means. Most of the guys you see online either don't understand it or haven't been in the game long enough to get it. You can't just spend a couple of years in the game and think you're a high-value man. We'll dive into that in a moment. In this post, I'm going to share five key things and all five have to be true for you to claim that title. But let me be clear. This isn't easy. It's not something you'll achieve in a few weeks or months. It's a commitment. But what other choice do you have? Now the first step to becoming a high-value man is where I see through the facade of a lot of the online communities like the Manosphere, the Red Pill community, or what used to be the Pickup community. The first step at number one is to remove any crutches. Let me be clear about something. Being wealthy, having a great physique, and being successful with women are all important. But if you rely on them too heavily, you can't truly be considered high value. It's a common misconception that getting a six-pack or becoming rich automatically makes you high value. That's not the case because, especially when dealing with high-caliber individuals, those things are just basics. Expected even just to get in the door. Ultimately, if everything else is stripped away and all that's left is just you as a person, if you feel exposed or inadequate, then those external achievements are just crutches and you're not quite there yet. That's why I believe becoming a high-value man isn't something you can achieve overnight. It's a journey that takes at least five years. You work hard, achieve, strive, and conquer, which might make you look like the man from the outside. But then you have to truly become that person, and you'll know deep down in your heart when you've accomplished it. At number two, reimagine the timeline. Now let's talk about another crucial aspect of becoming a high-value man, rethinking the timeline. Many of you guys believe you'll achieve high-value status in just one or two years, but realistically, it's not that simple. I've never seen it happen in less than five years because there's so much internal growth required. As I mentioned earlier, it's a process of doing and then becoming. It's not just about achieving success. It's about fully integrating that success into your identity. It's hard to put into words, but you can see it in a guy's eyes, in his demeanor, in how self-assured he is. It's a transformation that takes time, maybe five years, ten years, or even fifteen years. But what's the alternative? It's a long process, but it's worth it. Think about it. There's someone out there right now holding you back from your future because you're avoiding facing your insecurities and past traumas, the things most people don't want to talk about. These are the reasons why, even though you might look like you've got it all together, deep down, you're still struggling. And until you address that, you won't be able to attract the people you truly want in your life. Number three, adversity. The third essential ingredient to becoming a high-value man is facing adversity. Sometimes life throws challenges at us, forcing us to rise to the occasion. Sadly, 
Most men don't seize these opportunities to grow and evolve when faced with adversity. That's just the reality of the world. You simply can't reach high-value status without going through the fire. Every morning take a hard look in the mirror and ask yourself honestly, Would I follow this man into battle? Be brutally honest with yourself. What do you see? Now I know some of you might be thinking, but I come from a comfortable background or I've had a relatively easy life. That's okay as long as you're willing to create adversity for yourself. There's a big difference between just thinking about it and actively planning how to challenge yourself. Once you start strategizing, that's when you're truly stepping up your game. So even if you had a wonderful upbringing, it's crucial to push yourself out of your comfort zone. Remember, a man who hasn't faced hardship can never truly earn the respect of women or lead others into battle. At number four, freedom. Now the fourth essential step to becoming a high value man is attaining true freedom, financial, geographical, and temporal freedom. Let me break it down for you. I'd rather earn a decent income, let's say $100,000 a year, and have the flexibility to live wherever I want, work remotely, and set up efficient systems with a reliable team. Forget about the myth of passive income. Everything requires maintenance and care, just like your car or household appliances. Neglect them, and they'll eventually break down. So, while passive income isn't real, leveraging your resources is. I'd choose earning a hundred grand a year, with the freedom to travel and manage my time over making millions and being tied down to one location, with someone dictating my schedule and limiting my personal life. Ever had to skip a fun trip because you used up your vacation days? It's a buzzkill. And here's the deal. It's not just about office jobs. Think about athletes, actors, or other famous folks you admire, they might seem to have it all. But they're often shackled by contracts, managers, and financial pressures. In essence, true freedom isn't just about raking in the dough. It's about having control over your time, your location, and your life. Number 5. Networking The final piece of the puzzle to becoming a high-value man is having a strong network. Now, compared to the other aspects I've mentioned, this one ranks lowest in terms of importance but it's still crucial. Here's the thing. A lot of folks obsess over networking right from the start. Me? I took a different approach. I focused on self-improvement for over a decade with the mindset that when I finally emerged, the people I once looked up to would see me as their equal or even reach out to me themselves. And you know what? That's exactly what happened in the last couple of years. So, while I believe this is the last piece of the puzzle, it's still vital to have a solid network backing you up. Money can't solve everything. Sometimes you need problem solvers, protectors, and people willing to get their hands dirty. And trust me, having that network pays off big time. In the past year or two, every problem thrown my way has been dealt with either by me or through my network. And let me tell you, earning the respect of both men and women in this way is invaluable. The world can be harsh, so once you start winning, having a strong network becomes essential. It's a whole other level of power when you can get things done because of who you know, whether it's pushing documents through or ensuring swift consequences for anyone who crosses you or your loved ones. And just to clarify, I'm speaking hypothetically here. This isn't from personal experience. Moving on to the fifth point, think of it as the cherry on top. First, you've got to nail down the first four steps. Once you've got those sorted, you're on your way to becoming someone powerful and influential. Any problem that comes your way will be swiftly and professionally handled, either by you or by the problem solvers in your network who owe you favors. So folks, those are the five steps to becoming a high-value man, to make you a top 1% man. It's not about making a ton of money, buying fancy cars and hitting the clubs. Sure, those things are fine, but they don't define true manhood. It's the five things I've outlined here that really set you apart as a top-tier man. Remember, achieving these five things requires cultivating good habits along the way. Until next time, time gentlemen, thanks for watching and stay soulfully synergized.